Next up at UFC Vegas 96, we have Jacqueline Calvacante taking on Josian Nunes. Jacqueline Calvacante is six and one in her career, four and one in her last five. She is riding a four fight win streak. She is coming back <laughs> after a year away. What the Jacqueline, hell? Jacqueline, the uh, what is that? Uh, is it the Chinese or the Vietnamese fighter versus the American <laughs> Josian Nunes? <laughs> Damn, dude! I thought I had these graphics on lock. Oh well, we'll get that square. We'll get that squared away. The odds are correct, though. Jacqueline is four and one in her last five on a four fight win streak. Coming back after a full year away, taking on Josian Nunez, 10 and two in her career. Four and one in her last five. She is coming off that decision loss to Chelsea Chandler. We're going to start with the Josian Nunez side because I love her as an underdog here. Josian Nunez is a powerful striker. What? She just. Very hard. She's built like a bowling ball. She moves forward and just bombs away. That is the extent of her abilities. She's not very skilled, but she will move forward. She's afraid of literally nothing and throw bombs. She's not a very good grappler. Her striking is solid. It is busy. She comes forward. She'll throw leg kicks. She'll try to hit that head. She will chase. She's compact, but she doesn't have any issues gauging range or closing that distance. And she is coming up that loss to Chelsea Chandler, an actual Sasquatch, where she walked forward through haymakers without a care in what the world. What do you think Sasquatch think? sounds like if you had to do a Sasquatch sound? Do you think it's like a bear, or do you think it's like... Like a, a combination between a hey, you guys, and a bear. So they can, like, halfway talk? Yeah. Do they know English? Yeah. It's Who like taught a, hey, them you English? Guys. Well, they're they're lurking in the woods. They see it. At they just hear. They they just yeah. hear and they understand. Like so. at campsite, same I'd way the dog a, knows English. Yeah, that's they say that's the best way to learn a new language. Just absorb the, uh, just put yourself in there and right in the middle of it. That's why I can't wait to, you know, get to Brazil and and get in there and really okay. call talk to the people and enjoy the people. Uh, you know, head to the beach. You know, see right, see the up. women. This you know, is I'm why gonna, people comment. These videos are too long. I'm gonna go watch. Someone said focus. <laughs> yeah. So I just yeah. See, this guy's not how how I've seen this name before. How are you here every single week and still? Get spun up if we get off topic. And no, my mic is not low. Oh, my mic is low. Fucking. There we go. Is that better? Jeez. Um. Did that really mess you up? It was a lot louder than what it was. All right, I was here just we used go. to it. My mic was low. My kids were messing with it. Okay. Well, she's taking on Jacqueline Calvacante. Can't touch it. I got to figure out how to do that. Come on, Jacqueline Calvacante. It's too loud. On the other side of this fight, she's a long... Sh you said too loud? Somebody said it's too loud. Somebody said better, though. It's hard to leave it when you're doing audio stuff with the chat, you don't know what to believe, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Jacqueline Calvacante is a long striker. She uses footwork and feints to manage that range. She does a good job working your legs early. She will try to slow you down, and then she will work up to your head. She keeps that striking technical. When she finds a rhythm, she works forward. She pressures. She'll even look for the occasional takedown. When she is moving forward, she can be effective. But she doesn't do as well backing up. That is why I kind of like Jose Ann Nunes here. Jacqueline Cavacante, big time favorite. Minus 185, almost a two to one favorite. And this open has even money. And I get it. Jose Ann Nunes is not very good. She doesn't have a ton of skills. But what she does have is just a determination and a will to move forward no matter what. And I think she just continues to move forward, continues to bomb away. Jacqueline doesn't fight nearly as well on her back foot as she does her front foot. And I think Josanne Nunes can win this. Dude, she lost to an actual giant who took her down. Jacqueline's not going to take her down. Jacqueline's going to be backing up a year's worth of ring rust. I think Josanne Nunes could sneak this out. Jakey boy going like this. Jacob picked Gamrot, told me I was an idiot for thinking Dan could win. Picked Urseg, told me I was an idiot for saying Kai Car France could win. But go ahead, do this and tell us who you think is going to win this fight. I'm all fired up there, huh? Mm -hmm. It's okay. The doctor, uh, you know, when he sat us down, he he warned us that some of these side effects would be rage, anger, anxiousness, pee in your pants. And we saw the pee in the pants this weekend. So here comes the rage and the, the anger. Um, when it comes to this fight, let me just first off by saying, obviously, you know, you guys know I love female fights. Uh, we already broke down one, uh, and I forgot to mention both those girls, absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, this is one of those fights where both these both these females are 
in my mind, just beautiful. I think beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, and I think they're all beautiful in their own way, and I think both of these females are really, really beautiful. So uh, I am on the Jacqueline side here because Angelo mentioned it, and it's weird that he mentions it, and then he goes against it. The most important thing here is the footwork. It's the footwork and technicality of Cavalcante because she is an actual striker. I mean, when you see these girls in there, you're going to see, oh, one knows what they're doing, and the other one just is winging wild left hands, right? And I like Josie Ann, and I've picked Josie Ann in the past because she is just so good at that just wild pressure in your face, and she will just keep chasing, keep chasing, and throwing that left hand and throwing that left hand. She'll start to slow down, but she is a tough son of a bitch. She is just a fucking bowling ball in there. The issue is she has not fought somebody with a strike striking prowess as Cavalcante since probably Talia Santos, who beat her, you know, a, a long time ago. But it's going to be the footwork of Cavalcante. Yes, she isn't striking a, like a ton when she's moving backwards, but she knows how to not only move backwards, but cut angles and get the fuck away from the fence. You never see her work all the way backwards and stay against the fence, and that's what Josie Ann Nunez needs because she's not really good at cutting you off. She's almost too small to cut you off. She's got to be, like, running in front of you the entire time. So she will just chase and chase and chase. And I think the footwork of Cavalcante Conte to keep circling out back to the middle and then Sniper as she's coming in off those angles is going to be there. I think Cavalcante is just the way more technical striker, the better striker. Her footwork will keep her out of danger, danger early and then as Josie Ann starts slowing down, then she, that's when she can start working. I mean, she'll throw it like a double jab with a right hand. She's very clean with her striking. I think the precision is going to win her to fight here and I understand the odds, but I respect both women. I think they're both beautiful. <laughs> Listen, I, you're, you're not wrong in that Cavalcante from China is the far better striker. She is just more skilled. She's the better striker. But you watched her last fight. She did not do nearly as well backing up with pressure as she does moving forward. I thought she looked and good. Not every... And that was the best that, uh, what's her name? Uh, Zara has looked in a while, too. Dude, she's 48 years old. And she was moving forward. And, and when she was moving forward and Jacqueline was backing up, she was getting hit. She and didn't she like it. Yeah but, that, yeah, but that girl, Zara, fucking six foot nine. There's no way Josie Ann's pumping out a jab in the middle of the octagon and hitting fucking Cavalcante. No, Conte. she's not as she's good as like, she, She's got to, like, jump into fucking punches. Yeah, she doesn't struggle with range, even though she is built like this. Well, we're on opposite sides here. Josie Ann Nunes is my pick. Jakey Boy picked Calvacante. We are two separate human beings. I did see somebody complain. Sometimes they pick opposite of each other. Well, I mean, we're different people. That's how it goes. $8,500 for Jackie Cal. You putting Calvacante in your DraftKings fantasy lineup? I think she's live for, uh, actually, personally, I put 20 bucks uh, on round two, round three finish for her. I think she That's can wear down nuts. Josie Ann. And um, once she start, once Cavalcante finds that flow state, you're going to see her start throwing these hands. You're going to be like, oh, this girl's fucking good. Pays yeah, on like I five mean, and $700 off 20 bucks. I saw somebody complete pivot here. Somebody put a $50 bet at the, you know, at the beginning of the year, they have those who's going to be champ by the end of the year. Khalil Roundtree was one of the people. A $50 bet on Khalil Roundtree to be champion by the end of 2024 paid out $7,500. And now that's like possible, which is crazy. I'll be honest with you. He could, dude, uh, Pajeda gets hit. I think he might win. I mean, we'll break down that you fight when it comes to it. You can't out technical, Alex. You have to be a little bit weird, a little bit wild. You saw Yuri land a few good shots off of awkwardness. Dude, Khalil's fucking Khalil's fast, fast, dude. Shit. Dude, he's yeah. fucking fast. And he, like, will, like, leap into shots with speed. And it's like, that's yeah. the stuff that if you're a technical striker, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, it, uh, it it's an undeserving title shot, but it's not an insane one. It's not a mismatch, or at least not as much as... The odds are going to have you think. Either way, we're not talking about that fight. We're talking about this fight. And we're talking about premium membership. It's $10 a month. You're going to unlock picks, bets, tools, insight, information, and more. We want picks.com. Click become a member. You go all the way out to UFC 308. And that includes the safety parlay, which is Becky on Tracky, baby. $10 super chat from Miss Shaken. Thanks to Sharky for Hamos and DDP. As always, I win, you win. Thank you for the 10 spot, Michelle. That's Misha and Ken, you stupid fucking idiot. Misha Ken? Yeah, there's two people in that picture. No, it, it's Michelle. How? There's no and, it's just Misha Ken. Yeah, Mich it's just, Mich you're a fucking idiot, dude. Michelle. It's Michelle. 
Then we have $4.99 from Mr. Viral. You guys rock. Not going to lie, a bit scared for one of the picks <laughs> in the safety parlay. I won't reveal Hugh, but I trust the process. Yeah, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. When I built the safety parlay, I had a couple options. One leg, super obvious. Another leg, I you know, I went, I went with it. At a certain point, you just, I agree. I just had to trust my own process and be like, I got to do it. Uh, I could have done the Angela Hill over two and a half as the second part of the safety parlay, but I didn't because I, um, she burned me. She burned me last time. So I'm not doing that again, but thank you for the super chat. Uncle Bodetti get better soon. Ange, please lay off the Molly 279 Canadian. I've never done Molly. I didn't even do it when it was called ecstasy back in the day. Um, but thank you. I will remain drug free. $5 $5 from Yo, that guy. Angelo, it's okay to have AIDS. We accept you no matter what, how many questionable parties you've been to. I would say to get your money settled, but Jacob stole it all. What? The AIDS stuff is getting wild, man. It's getting wild. It's a, it's a, it's, Let's go Dan it's died. Let's go Dan died. And J- Jacob... Jacob, in one stream a month ago, jokingly said Angelo has AIDS. He doubled down on it by commenting it and making me read the comment. And now it has just taken on a life of its own. And it's crazy. It is crazy how the internet works. Crazy. Thank you, Dan. Crazy. 